25 years ago, when I was a physician in training at Bronx Municipal Hospital in New York, no one knew that child abuse was the cause of one quarter of all lifelong mental illness, or that at least one in six U.S. children is abused, or that we could identify the most high-risk families on the first day of a baby's life, or that child abuse is actually preventable. All that has changed. William has an 80% chance of being a child abuse victim. His parents are poor, his dad was neglected as a child, and his mom, who never had the chance to finish high school, is depressed. The problem is that key interventions known to prevent child abuse are not easily accessible. They're organized by bureaucracy, not around families. The needs of families like Williams often go unrecognized. Services are fragmented and come too late after abuse has occurred. Our solution is to resolve this fragmentation and delay by integrating effective prevention services within healthcare systems. Families of newborns can be screened and connected with interventions that work, like home visits from nurses, parenting education, and preventive health, mental health, and community-based social supports. We will implement and rigorously evaluate this model within large healthcare organizations that span urban and rural settings and serve low-income families. Our team of experts has led the world in devising interventions to prevent child abuse. Our goal is to end this silent epidemic and its devastating consequences for children just like William.